Hi students, welcome to virtual class of Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai. I am Sri Kumar. The class is for 8th standard students. Subject is Mathematics. Let me begin the class. Dear students, we are entering into a new chapter. The name of the chapter is Compound Interest. Regarding the concept of simple interest, we have studied in the last year's concept of simple interest was very well explained in another video. I will give you the link of that video below this uh, video and in the details. The concept over here is something what is called compound interest. In order to make yourself understand or make you understand what is the concept of compound interest, I should uh, start with the simple interest, then only the concept will be clear. And the chapter is mainly to make you understand the concept of compound interest and to uh, develop a formula to calculate it. You know about uh, the concept of simple interest as I told you. Uh, the formula to calculate the simple interest or interest is PNR upon 100 where P is the principal N is the number of years and R is the rate of interest and I stands for simple interest. What is the concept of simple interest? The concept of simple interest is that if you deposit, the word is deposit money in a bank in the form of a savings account, you will be having an account there. So you will be having a savings bank account. In that bank account when you deposit money, that money will be used by the bank for various purposes and as well especially for giving loan to others and thereby whatever the bank is earning out of it from that a small amount is given to you which we call as simple interest. And this amount which is given as simple interest to you is calculated yearly that is number of years you deposited the money, kept the money there and how much money you deposited that is P the principal and the rate of interest that the bank is offering per 100 rupees per year. It is per 100 rupees per year. Number of, uh, it is simply written as percent per annum. So you studied simple interest in the format PNR upon 100, that is a formula to calculate. That is studied last year in another video. Now, going ahead, a situation is given here. Sajjan Rao takes a loan of rupees 10,000 from a bank. Bank is a place to deposit money, to save money, and as well as a place for getting loan. So, Sajjan Rao takes a loan of rupees 10,000 from a bank at the rate of 10% per annum per year 100 rupees 10 rupees and for one year how much money including the interest he will have to pay after one year after one year he has to pay back the amount so this can be very simply calculated because after one year for 10,000 if the rate of interest is 10% how much to pack a pack we will use the simple principle of simple interest to calculate it we know the formula is PNR upon 100 where you will be getting the interest that he has to pay in this case P is principal how much amount he deposited or taken as loan it is 10,000 number of years luckily in this case is 1 and rate of interest is equal to 10 upon 100. When you solve this, you will see that he has to pay rupees 1000 as interest. That means this Sajjan Rao has to pay 10,000 rupees loan which he have taken plus 1000 rupees as interest that is a total of 11,000 rupees he will be paying after after one year. This we calculated by the formula of simple interest. Suppose that here the borrower is Sajjan Rao. He is not paying the, um, pay the amount and interest after one year. Ek saal ke baad wo paisa hi nahi diya, interest bhi nahi diya. So how the bank will calculate how much Sajjan Rao will 
हैव टू बी ही डिड नॉट पे ए सिंगल रुपीज एक रुपया भी नहीं दिया बैंक को वापस तो नेचुरली बैंक हैज टू कीप ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग द डे सज्जन राव विल कम टू द बैंक जब बैंक में आएगा अदरवाइज बैंक विल गो टू सज्जन राव सज्जन राव को मिलने जाऊंगा और बोलेंगे आप यू हैव नॉट पेड फॉर थ्री इयर्स यू हैव नॉट पेड फॉर फोर इयर्स सो योर अमाउंट हैज बिकम मोर इलेवन थाउजेंड से काम नहीं होगा सो हाउ डू द बैंक कैलकुलेट दैट दैट इज वन कंसेप्ट ऑफ एडिंग इंटरेस्ट प्रिंसिपल तो चेंज नहीं होगा वो तो टेन थाउजेंड ही लिया है लेकिन वन थाउजेंड इंटरेस्ट देने से काम नहीं होगा सर मीन इंटरेस्ट विल बी एडेड ऑन इंटरेस्ट एंड अगेन इंटरेस्ट विल बी एडेड ऑन इंटरेस्ट आपको कुछ समझ में आ रहा होगा इंटरेस्ट है उसके ऊपर इंटरेस्ट आएगा दैट इज वॉट इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ कॉम्पाउंड इंटरेस्ट वाई 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 इट इज स्टार्टर विथ ए लोन इट इज इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू डिपोजिट मनी इन बैंक अगर ये सज्जन राव टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज डिपोजिट किया अकाउंट में अच्छा किया वन थाउजेंड रुपीज उनको इंटरेस्ट मिलेगा तो मतलब आफ्टर वन ईयर हिस अमाउंट विल बिकम इलेवन थाउजेंड बैंक को दिए तो भी वही होगा अगर टेन परसेंट इंटरेस्ट If he is not taking the money after one year, एक साल के बाद वो पैसा निकालता नहीं उनको पैसे का जरूरत नहीं तो इलेवन थाउजेंड रुपीज के ऊपर वन ईयर को टेन थाउजेंड टेन अपॉइंट हंड्रेड इंटरेस्ट आएगा दैट मीन बाई द एंड ऑफ दैट ईयर ही विल बी हैविंग इंस्टेड ऑफ दैट वन थाउजेंड रुपीज इंटरेस्ट ही विल बी गेटिंग वन थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड रुपीज एज इंटरेस्ट so at the end of second year 11000 to tha second year ke starting mein right another 1100 will be added what is this 1100 100 rupees extra because interest of the interest either we am compound interest ka hi baat kar rahe compound means interest on interest and on interest depending upon number of years you are keeping them the term you are keeping the money in bank or टर्म यू आर नॉट रिपेइंग द मनी लोन लेके पेमेंट नहीं किए तो सो सपोज दैट वी विल थिंक अबाउट दिस सज्जन राव केस इन ए लिटिल डिटेल्ड मैनर फॉर एग्जाम्पल डियर स्टूडेंट्स हियर ए सिचुएशन दैट आवर सज्जन राव इज नॉट रेडी टू पे और नॉट कुड नॉट पे द लोन बैक he had borrowed a loan of 10000 you know and he is not in a position to pay back the amount if such a situation comes bank will not allow him to do that but if that happens how it will work out that is what is the question here so let us think about a situation the situation tells that he borrowed or if you are depositing that is also principal the principal is is equal to rupees 10000 and the rate of interest is equal to 10% that is equal to 10 400 rupees number of years one year and the interest at the end of first year will be pnr upon 100 which will be equal to 10000 into 1 into 10 upon 100 which is equal to 1000 they go cancelled cancel that means the amount at the end of first year must be 11000 he has to pay ye wo kiya nahi he did not pay back after one year so unka second year start ho gaya second year ka principal will become 11000 rate of interest is same 10 upon 100 rate of interest number of year second year means again one year interest will be equal to again pnr upon 100 pnr principal is 11000 here number of years one r upon 100 means 10 upon 100 this is a interest we are calculating for second year if you cancel this it becomes 1100 so this is the amount at the end of the first year 11000 is the principal of the second year oh, along with that 1100 will be added 1 to 100 he has to pay at the end of second year for your understanding i'm saying now the third year starts his principal is now 1 12100 
again same interest rate again same tenure again same formula interest can be calculated by 1 to 100 into 1 into 10 upon 100 cancelling this we get he has to pay 12 1210 as extra interest so that much will be added to this 12,000 1210 is added so he has to pay 3 3 13,310 at the end of third year this way he his interest will keep on increasing first year it was 1000 second year became 1100 third year it became 1210 and it is compounded added with the principal naturally at the end of first year he will pay 11000 down second year he will pay 12100 if he is paying at the second year we will pay next year to third year 13310 one thing we can notice in the first case first year case when it was the amount became 1000 11 10000 Pay, collect, uh, borrowed 11,000 he has to pay in the case of uh, first year in the second year and the, the principal was 10,000 borrowed in the second year it so happened that he has to pay 12,100 and the principal was 11,000 that is the end of the first year the third year he has to pay 13,310 and the amount was 12,100. In all these cases, if you think about making it simple, you will get 110 upon 100. If you divide this with 11, if this with 11 you will get, if you divide this with 10, you will get 11 upon 10. If you divide this 11, you will get 11 upon 10. If you divide this also, you will get 11 upon 10. You take time and divide. That means the ratio is maintained. Now, why I did this? To, in order to derive the formula to calculate compound interest, we can say that if the same interest rate is apply, applied, the ratio between the amount and principal remain constant. So, in this case, we will take either 11 upon 10 or for convenience 110 upon 100. This is taken as constant. Understood? The amount with the principal is maintained. If that is the case, let us try to understand how can we derive the formula to calculate compound interest simply. Because here I calculated first, this was calculated, then that was taken as principal, then interest was calculated, interest was added. Then this was taken as principal here, then interest was calculated, interest became 1 to 1 0, that was added here and 13. So all these are little bit lengthy process so maths will make a shortcut now how we know that interest of amount of first year upon principal is equal to 110 upon 100 otherwise this is first year amount a1 is equal to p into 110 upon 100 this is the case of first year when it if you think about sec second case or second year case, this became the principal and A2 became the amount A1 came over, but the ratio will be maintained. That means A2 is equal to A1 into 110 upon into 110 upon 100. Correct? And A1 is this. That means P into 110 upon 100 into 110 upon 100 this will become the method understood where we are trying to calculate a2 when it is a1 it is like this a2 is like this 
where this stands for A1 only, this one. Two times this Q. Notice that. Now, if you think about third year, what we will do? In the third year, we will write A3 upon A2 is equal to 110 upon 100. And we will write A3 is equal to A2 into 10 upon 100, 110 upon 100 from this cross multiplication. So, where we will be having expansion, this is what is A2, that is P into 110 upon 100 into 110 upon 100 into 110 upon 100, the additional one, this one. This is the old one, this is the new one, the same way this is the new one. So, this way it goes on compounding. What we are trying to calculate? We are calculating the amount. To calculate the amount. If the amount, here we have considered the principal as P. If you are considering principal as P, what is this actually? 110. It is 100 plus 10. What is 10 over there? R. Understood? So, why can't we think in that way? 110 upon 100 is equal to 100 plus R upon 100. It will be always same. So, I can write in, in a simple way. If I say P is the principal, the amount is P, the principal. And after one year, I will write P the same, this one. Instead of writing 110 upon 100, I will write P into 100 plus R upon 100. What does it mean? It means P into 1 plus R upon 100. Correct? If it is P into 1 plus R upon 100, which is this one, this is P into 1 plus R upon 100 two times, this is P into 1 plus R upon 100, 3 times. I developed a formula. Then what is this 1, 2, 3? This is when I calculated for 3 years. This is when I calculated for 2 years. This is when I calculated for 1 year. So the 3 can be replaced by N over here, the number of years, which is there in the original formula. So, my dear students, the formula to calculate the amount after a particular year, the P will become P into 1 plus R upon 100 raised to N. Or, in the earlier format, this format, we can write also write it as P into 100 plus R upon 100 whole to the power of N. Here there is no need of writing in, it is understood, it is multiplied, but we can. So, this formula you will be using to calculate the compound interest questions where amount is asked. Sometime amount will be asked, sometime rate of interest will be asked, sometime P will be asked. So, you will rearrange the formula and solve it. Okay, my dear students, let me move ahead. Find the compound interest if for rupees 4000 are invested for 3 years at the rate of 2 and half percent per annum. So, we know that P is given as rupees 4000 and rate of interest is given as 12 and 1 upon 2 percent and N is given as 3 years and we are asked to find out the find the compound interest. Compound interest kitna hai pooch raha. Toh kaise karenge? Compound interest ka formula toh pada nahi hai. Like compound interest ki jaga pe hamko amount ka formula hai. Toh amount se principal minus karenge. Toh amount calculate karenge. Amount can be calculated by the formula P into 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to N. So we will write P into P ki jaga pe. We will write uh, we are asked to find out the P, sorry. So, amount, compound interest if 4,000 are invested, 4,000 is invested. So, we will write 
Understood? So this way we can find out the the amount after a particular this one. Amount can be calculated. Understood? Amount can be calculated in this way means we will solve the sum. P ki jagah be 4000 dal diya hai. And when we think about this particular 4000, we have to solve this. This, you know how to solve this. 1 plus 12.5 upon 100 to be solved so it becomes how don't ask me how I will do it yourself it will become 112.5 upon 100 so you can remove this point by writing 1125 upon 1000 for removing the decimal numbers LCM is 100, 100 plus 12.5, 112.5, removing the decimal point by multiplying with 10 on numerator and denominator. So we will write in the bracket 1125 upon 1000 whole raised to 3, which is equal to, we can reduce it to simple format accordingly, or you can solve it accordingly. Whatever way you want, you can do it. You will get the answer 5695.31 multiplication sub karne ke baad rupees as the amount amount mila lekin humko pucha kya hai find the compound interest so amount became 5695 rupees 31 paise originally it was 4000 so the interest will be equal to amount jo abhi mila hai minus original principal Right, original principle is equal to 4. So we will subtract it 5695.31 subtract 4000. So comparatively simple, we will write it as 31, and here it is equal to 596. Okay, 1695 rupees 31 paise unko mila hai compound interest ke form you are in 8th standard after putting it in the formula ye sab jo bhi kiya hai ye aapko aana mangta hai otherwise go back to 6th and 7th test book learn the principles of doing algebra or arithmetics ok my dear students so this way you will apply you will be having simple questions in your question set your practice set number is 14.1 based on compound interest you will read that thoroughly and try to do get the answers thoroughly simple application of compound interest please note certain things sometime the interest is calculated at interval of six months so one year may two terms but three year means six terms for duration of n years, if the rate of interest is to be calculated at six months the rate has to be taken as r upon two duration is considered as two times okay so that you should understand that kabhi kabhi likha hoga ki it is calculated in six months that means rate of interest become half in six months and the number of years will become double because two six months makes one year many banks charge the compound interest monthly at that time we have to take the interest r upon n monthly 12 se divide karenge how many or kitna month you have divide karenge and the duration will be according to kitna month the hai 12 into that much where to make it into unit sometime it is calculated daily also in that case accordingly you have to substitute the formula there are interesting applications for uh, compound interest uh, here is an example the population of a city increases at a compounding rate of 8% per year 
population increase hoti har saal 8%. Percent. Find the population the year 2002 and leave the population of the year 2010 is 2,50,000. It's a chota sa city hai. With the 2,50,000 population hai, unko rate of uh, increase in population is 8%. The 2012 mein kitne population hongi? Question straightforward hai. I am not wasting much time. You, are, you will apply the same formula. A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 to the power of n and here the population is considered as 2,50,000 into the, the, the rate of interest at what rate it increases 8 upon 100 and from 2012 to 10 means there is a matter of 2 years and it is calculated annually. When you solve this, you will solve this in such a way that this will become 2,50,000 only. What is inside the bracket will become 108 upon 100 whole to the power of 2. And you will ultimately reach to the conclusion that 2,91,600 people will be there at the end of 2012, 8% growth rate from 2,50,000. That means interesting question can come. You should take interest, then you will feel it. Rehana purchased a scooter in the year 2015 for rupees 60,000. Scooter liya unhone. Its value falls. Niche aare hai. 20 percent every year. What will be the price of the scooter after two years? So niche aare to kya karna pade? To add karte ja rahe na. Loan liya aur add kiya aur. Fir uske baad kya kiya? Interest bhi add kiya. और अभी रहना का स्कूटर का वैल्यू कम होता है सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस हियर प्रिंसिपल इज 60000 नो प्रॉब्लम और कैसे कम होता है ये भी लिखा है रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट और रेट ऑफ डिप्रीशिएशन वी से इट हैज 20% उसमें भी हमको प्रॉब्लम नहीं है नंबर ऑफ इयर्स गिवन एज 2 एंड वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द अमाउंट आफ्टर 2 इयर्स बट इट इज अ डिप्रीशिएशन rate come out of jata hai. So, A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 whole to the or N is a formula. The peculiarity that this particular thing reduces. So, we have to put a negative sign here. How? How I substitute it, not in the formula. How I will put it? 60,000 into 1 plus R ke chaga pe me minus 20 dal ke solve ke. So, that means the whole thing will become negative for 2 years. So, this way we will calculate. We are calculating amount in such a way that in a depreciation, in the case of depreciation, the rate of depreciation, rate of depreciation, so rate of interest, which we calculate, that R ke upar hi wo negative dalna padta hai. Okay, so that is the mechanism of. So here we will, here we will, sorry, here we will solve it in such a way that sixty thousand. And as I told you, the whole thing is multiplied by 1 plus. This will become 100 minus 20, 80 upon 100. Whole 2, 80 upon 100 can be solved as 4 upon 5 now. So that means 60,000 into 4 upon 5 whole square. Understood? So that becomes, uh, okay, amount becomes 38. 1400 this will be the value of her scooter how did we reach to that conclusion you understood hmm? you must know that how could we reach to that it is in such a way that sorry it is in such a way that 60,000 into 4 upon 5 into 4 upon 5 because it is 2 years calculation. So this will make 12 fives are 68. Again, this 5 will divide this into 2 fives are 10, 20, 4 fives are 20. And here is a situation where you are having a, the amount of certain principal is amount is given as rupees 6,655 in three years compounded annually at the rate of 10% per annum find the principal. The peculiarity is that principal is asked. Formula is same A is equal to P into 1 plus R upon 100 whole to the power of N. 
The peculiarity is that amount is given as rupees six six five five six thousand six hundred and fifteen. 55 and number of years as 3 and uh, rate of interest as 10 percent and the principal is what is asked. So we will substitute that here. Amount is 6655. Correct? The principal which is not given 1 plus R K J 10 upon 100 and K J 3. Correct? We will keep on substituting. We can rewrite this as P into 110 upon 100 whole to the power of 3, which is equal to 6655, where we can write P as 6655 into, this will turn to the other side, then it become inverse and it becomes 100 into 100 into 100 upon 110 into 110 into 110 we can simplify it as 10 into 10 into 10 upon 11 upon 11 upon 11 into 11 into 11 when you solve this what will happen 11 into 11 to 121 into 11 accordingly it will go i can show you why i said so a six six five five they can so, समय में आते हैं इसमें 11 कैसे होते हैं 6 11 सार 66 0 में 0 मिल गया 5 में 0 55 में बन गया सिंपली डिविजिबल है 605 एंड इफ यू थिंक अबाउट दैट 605 दिस 11 विल क्रिएट हियर 605 अंडरस्टूड and that way it becomes very easy for you to solve 121 into 5 is equal to 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 4 5 one, 605 that means this 11 into 11 will go in this 5 times and you get 5 into 10 into 10 into 10 oh, oh, oh right answer is 5000 so that's why 5000 rupees was the principle such simplifiable uh, questions only comes because this part is not important the important part is how do you substitute that's what i'm saying always find the number of years for which the compound interest of 9000 is rupees 1890 at the rate of 10% per annum years which i find the number of years पहले अमाउंट पूछता था फिर प्रिंसिपल पूछा अभी ईयर पूछा है करेक्ट रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट इज गिवन एज 10% प्रिंसिपल इज गिवन एज 9000 दैट इज अमाउंट प्रिंसिपल कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट इज टोटल गिवन एज 1890 दैट विल बी एडेड टू गेट द अमाउंट इंटरेस्ट दिया ना इधर द इंटरेस्ट सो वी कैन कैलकुलेट अमाउंट इनिशियली बाय पी प्रिंसिपल प्लस कंपाउंड इंटरेस्ट दैट इज uh, uh, 9000 plus 1890 which is equal to 10890 is the amount amount milke. so we will substitute the value in the formula amount is equal to p into 1 plus r upon 100 whole to the power of n where we have to write as 10890 is equal to O is equal to P, P ke jaga pe 9000 into 1 plus 10 upon 100 whole to the power of N. N is what is asked. That is the beauty of it. Understood? So this will become 9000 screen honi ke jaga se gram in spread form. Vertical nahi gram. 110 upon 100 whole to the power of n this can be written as 11 upon 10 correct this part all right this is equivalent to 10890 or it can be written as 10890 upon 9000 is equal to 
11 upon 10 whole to the power of n. Oh. Now, is there any relation between 9 and 108? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. 1, 9 is 90 and 18 may 2 times. 2 and 2 nines are 18 and again 1, 9. Okay. It became 121 here and here it is 100. When we divide with 100, we get, when we divide with 9, we get 121 upon 100. You can do it here simply. 10890 divided by 9. Understood? 0 we cancelled earlier itself. Here by dividing with 9, you will be getting 100. Okay, so we got a relationship 121 upon 100 is equal to 11 upon 10 raised to the power of n. Okay naturally 11 square is equal to 121 10 square is equal to 100 so naturally n must be equal to 2 this way we solve it okay my dear students so compound interest is of great use in our day-to-day -day life also interesting questions are there it should be solved these are the interesting question I told uh, where you are having construction workers, shepherd, forest, machine, combined interest, direct question. population There are 10 questions given good enough to practice. If you practice these 10 questions of uh, practice set number 14.2, I am sure that you will become smart enough to face any such question. On the other hand, Instead of solving it yourself, if you go to the guide and say, how did you do it? Then ask your friend or your teacher. So, you won't have any improvement. You have to take your time and take it 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 and but not by taking any help. That is what is called practice. That is why the set is named as practice set always. Exercise and practice are having same purpose. Practice and you will be perfect. Don't take anybody's help. That's my, that's my strict and lovable advice to you. That's all from me. Thank you. Now click on the subscription button below to subscribe the channel. Then the bell button to get the notifications of the new videos. Thank you.